This is the 2021 BMW X5 plug-in hybrid. Its model name is actually the X-Drive 45E. You can see the charging port right here. There's a gas tank on the other side. Uh, the X5 is one of BMW's top sellers. They've got the X1 all the way up to the X7, uh, but the X5 was actually introduced way back in 1999, 21 years ago, and it's still a main competitor and a big seller for the brand. This plug-in hybrid is actually faster, more powerful, and has a longer electric only range than its predecessor. The first plug in X5 was introduced back in 2016. Then it was discontinued for a few years and now it is back in this fourth generation body style. It also doubles the electric range of its predecessor 30 miles on electric only. The other one only had 14, which wasn't good at all. That means for this car, a commuter to and from work, you could do your daily trip to and from the office without ever using a drop of gasoline. Uh, let's also talk about what's under the engine real quick. A 3.0 liter twin turbo inline six cylinder, which is more power than the previous four cylinder turbo. BMW did a lot of reinventing, a lot of polishing and smoothing out of this configuration to put together a beautiful plug in hybrid that is actually a practical daily driver. The big draw with this X5 is that it's large, luxurious and also has a longer range, which means you can go further on electric only and maybe never have to fill up your gas tank if you charge it every night. Speaking of charging real quick, it takes about five hours to get an 80% charge on this. A full charge will take a little bit longer, which is maybe the only downside to this plug-in hybrid. Uh, but BMW offers several other plug-in hybrids across their lineup, but this, believe it or not, is the fastest one of all of them. Even though it weighs over 5,000 pounds, it is the fastest plug-in hybrid that BMW offers. It also has the largest battery and therefore has one of the longest ranges. Uh, but today we'll take this out on the road, show you how it drives, give you an idea of what it's like to see the engine or hear the engine rather transition from electric to gas or gas back to electric. And we'll also give you a tour of the inside, the gorgeous leather, the beautiful center console, the twin LCD 12 inch screens, which are just stunning and add another lap of luxury element to this already stunning SUV. But before we get going, please hit the like button on this video. Give us a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel. We upload content here every week. Let us know what you want to see, what other kind of stuff you're thinking about, what questions you might have for us, what cars you want to see. And also let us know in the comments below what your favorite part of this X5 plug-in hybrid is. Uh, as I've said before, I can't wait any longer. I'm so excited to have this thing in my possession for the day. Let's get going. But first, a huge shout out to Apple BMW in York, Pennsylvania. They let us take this beautiful Bavarian beast out for the day. Major props and thanks to them for the support. So let's talk power real quick, shall we? At the front of the car here, uh, those orange cords kind of give away that uh, there's something up with this engine. It's got an electric element, right? And uh, you wouldn't be incorrect if you thought that uh, those aren't in every car's engine bay. Uh, but let's talk about this eight speed automatic transmission. It is mated to that 3.0 liter twin turbo inline six cylinder, which pumps out a net horsepower of 389 between the electric motor and the gasoline motor. That is a huge jump, about 81 horsepower more than its predecessor. This thing is also a second faster to 60 than its predecessor, about 5.3 seconds, which again, insane because it weighs more than 5,000 pounds. The engine also makes 443 pound feet of torque. What's really unique about this is that the electric motor is built into the transmission. So even in full electric mode, you still have X drive, which is BMW's all wheel drive system. Another thing BMW has packed into this X5 SUV is what they call extra boost, essentially 40 extra horsepower whenever you floor the accelerator and it gives you that nice get up and go and acceleration when you need it only for about 10 seconds though. It's kind of like a reserve of power in those instances where you need it maybe in a split second. And down here at the grill, you kind of see classic BMW styling as always. Very large kidney bean shapes, which are, by the way, look how huge they are. I think back in the day, they were both like, what, this big on the front of grills? They're huge now. Integrated into the front of the car is a camera, which gives you, again, kind of full all around views of the car to make sure that there's nothing in front of you as you're driving away. You also see those integrated parking sensors here. Um, the only thing I have a complaint about at the front is this feels kind of cheap. It definitely is plastic. 
it's not the chrome uh, that it looks like it is. It's definitely cheaper and on a car that costs $73,000, um, you maybe expect this to feel a little more sturdy, a little more higher quality. That being said, it looks beautiful. It just doesn't feel all that great. You also have in the front here LED high and low beam lights, LED fog lights, which look stunning in the daytime or at nighttime especially. Uh, I'm someone who drives around with fog lights on most of the time for aesthetics and for the way it looks. Uh, they look beautiful on this X5. Since this is a plug-in hybrid, you need what? A plug-in outlet, a socket, right? Well, BMW's got that right here up front, about five hours again for an 80% charge. Um, and I've talked before in my videos and my reviews about how much I love wheels. They're kind of like the finishing touch on a vehicle. This X5 has beautiful 20-inch alloy rims. They kind of look like maybe like a snowflake of some sort. Beautiful, nice Pirelli tires all around as well. Uh, also all around ventilated four-wheel disc brakes uh, to stop this thing because it weighs a ton uh, actually a couple tons about two and a half tons to be precise uh, but a beautiful wheels here I love the way they look uh, another thing really easy to clean because there's big open spaces some of those designs on some higher-end cars are so intricate and so insane you can never get all the brake dust off of them here at the back of the 2021 BMW X5 plug-in hybrid uh, the classic split folding automatic up and down rear tailgate the button underneath opens up the top then and the buttons here on the bottom part of the tailgate tap that and it'll fold down automatically for you this nice little center section here lets you slide big items in without any problems at all and also just tap this button and it'll pull it right back up tap the top button and it'll all go right back down for you. Uh, let's talk interior space of this thing. With the second row still up, you have about 34 cubic feet of space back here. Plenty for large duffel bags, large suitcases, and some large items if you're hauling something on the way to and from a trip. With the second row down, you have about 74 total cubic feet of space, which is a lot of room. You only lose about one cubic foot of space because of the large lithium ion battery in the back of this thing. So BMW has engineered it in a really nice way to make sure that the batteries can be on board, but you can still have all of your cargo and people on board as well without losing a lot of space at all. Speaking of that second row, it's kind of a button you've got to grab and pull towards you, and the second seat folds down automatically. It's not power, it's kind of a little latch on either side. Just push that, and they go down. So moving inside this beautiful X5 SUV, uh, you know undoubtedly that you're in a luxury car that has been designed and has tons of thought into keeping you comfortable and keeping you in that kind of upper echelon of SUVs. Beautiful leather and stitching all throughout this interior cockpit here. A beautiful steering wheel that is just wrapped in illustrious, gorgeous leather. Beautiful stitching on the airbag part of the center wheel as well. Let's talk about the center display display though two large 12 inch LCD displays. One is the gauge cluster for the driver. The other one is the center console where all of your infotainment stuff happens. It's also angled toward the driver, which I don't know why every car company doesn't do this, but how many people are in the car without the driver ever? The answer is none because the car doesn't drive itself. It does a lot of stuff, but it's not an autonomous vehicle. Therefore, why would the center stack be angled straight back for the rear passengers to see? Let's talk about some of the features in here though. Automatic four zone climate control, automatic dimming rear view mirror. There's also BMW Assist eCall. That's an emergency communication system. There's 10 speakers and a beautiful Harman Kardon sound system. Internal memory capacity of 20 gigabytes. There are genuine wood inserts all over the interior of this, right here in the center console in the gauge cluster area, and also on the doors, on the dashboard. And there's also, look at that, beautiful kind of thin line of illuminated light to kind of accent everywhere you look. The extra thought that goes into just the details and the beauty of the interior is quintessential European and BMW is really pulling it off. Let's also talk about these beautiful seats. Super supportive, very, very firm, uh, but also soft at the same time. There is four-way driver-passenger lumbar support on both seats, which 
Usually you don't have automatic power lumbar on both seats, but you do in this vehicle. There's also amazing kind of side bolster control too. Whenever you push this button right here on the side of the seat, the side bolsters at your hip and kind of your uh, side sections will uh, retract or expand depending on whatever setting you want uh, to really kind of make you uh, as the driver, the passenger as comfortable and as upright or as uh, positioned as you want to be. A really beautiful feature. The thigh position is still manual, which a lot of cars have now moved on to having an automatic power thigh area movable part on the seat. But BMW still has their classic uh, little button underneath the thigh support, uh, which does extend, which is nice it still extends, but uh, it should be power. It's 2021. It's a 2021 model. Why not have uh, the power automatic moving thigh support section? One of the neater features on this X5 is the headrest. You push this button in, it slides forward and backward. Some cars do have this, but it's not nearly with this much range. It moves a good two and a half, three inches to accommodate where you want your head to be. And as with most luxury cars these days, just a tap of the handle with the key in your pocket will open up the door for you. But uh, what is this? What's this? Why do we need that in 2021 in a 2021 model to see if the doors are opened or not? Uh, we don't need that. It's kind of old to me, but uh, nonetheless, all the old goes out the window whenever you see all the gorgeous kind of lights, the different ambiance setting that BMW has put in the interior of this. Uh, welcome. Oh, thank you so much. Look at the beautiful light, a nice thin line of illuminated light, uh, a blue kind of turquoise color. But we've got to talk about these huge 12 inch displays, twin 12 inch displays right here. Uh, just absolutely stunning um, and they're both just uh, high quality and really really nice no analog anything in that gauge cluster uh, and you can see there kind of the uh, electric influence on the way this looks e-drive written at the top there's a picture of your car as well uh, down here you've got your kind of system setting it's on hybrid right now uh, you've got your battery charge over there how much range you have left right in the center the 150 zero little battery button also and off to the left then you've got your your typical gauge cluster for your gas tank. Uh, beautiful kind of setup. I think it's awesome. Whenever you turn the car on, by the way, which the start stop button is right down here, everything moves for you. A little bit of a beep, a nice BMW welcome. And uh, you can't hear anything right now because guess what? It's in electric mode and uh, you can't hear the engine, which is the point, right? This huge center display, uh, you just can't go wrong with it. Uh, and these buttons down here, also very high quality, really nice to the touch. All of the touch points in this BMW are just beautiful. Nothing feels cheap, nothing feels like an afterthought. This is kind of the uh, button to turn off all of the safety features like the collision warnings and the blind spot monitoring. That's what that button is right there in case you're wondering. But watch this also, look, this is kind of a digital display uh, of these numbers, which in the middle of the vents you don't always see, but it looks beautiful. But again, four zone climate control in this uh, SUV. But down here, uh, so many different buttons as well. You got your parking brake, hill assist, uh, over here, all your different driving modes, the sport mode, hybrid, electric, adaptive, but so many driving modes down here, so many buttons to choose from, that big quintessential BMW wheel to control the infotainment system, to scroll through whatever different options you'd like to have. Uh, but over here, look at this, the battery button. Let's push that. You can actually set how much battery uh, you have, how much value it saves. Set target and you can scroll back between how much you want the car to keep reserved at any given time. A really cool option called battery control there. You just use the wheel then to kind of uh, siphon through whatever different options you want. We'll keep it on 70 for now. Beautiful attention to detail with all of the wood grain inserts. A nice big center console here with your uh, double cup holder. You've also got your USB down there. You've got wireless charging up there as well. Android Auto, Apple CarPlay capabilities. You've got your heated seat button, your AC button, your auto climate control. Uh, just beautiful all the way around. Your rear heat and air. One of the other things I love about this car, this stunning steering wheel. It feels nice. It just feels 
feels good. Gripping some steering wheels can feel like you're gripping like, I don't know, a small chintzy piece of plastic. Uh, it feels well put together and it's so refreshing. You've also got your heated steering wheel button right down there, which is nice to see. Of course, all your audio and phone controls and uh, different kind of options there for your cruise control as well. Yeah, but just look how beautiful this uh, nice gauge cluster is. Over here on the side, there's a button that says BC. You can toggle through over here on the right side of the screen, different options. You've got your different torque and your horsepower. You've got your G-force. I don't know why you'd want that. Uh, Sirius XM, great offer now, please call. You've also got different settings for the hybrid you can go through. And it's kind of different displays for what you want to see as you're driving. And I don't know if you can see it out there, but there's the heads up display uh, showing you kind of your miles per hour. And it also will show you the signs on the road and the speed limit uh, coming from this nice heads up display right there, right into the dashboard. So as with most SUVs of this caliber, BMW gives you all kinds of options to customize it. Let's go right here to the home button. And whenever you tap that, let's go to car and go to settings. You can change every imaginable thing about this. The key settings, the climate control, the interior lighting, the brightness and the colors, the doors, the access, the displays, the driver assistance. Let's go back and also look at this, the experience modes, which I love. Watch these lights, ready? When I change it from expressive to, let's go to well-being. The lights change and look, it's actually closing the sunshade for me because it knows I want to be well. I want to be relaxed and have nice covered settings for me. It's amazing. Uh, let's go to the executive package and see what the lights look like there. They change right away, right before your very eyes and kind of adapt to what you want to feel. And up here, it describes what each one is like. Another classic BMW look, a center split opening little center console with a USB charger down there. It's not terribly deep, but it could fit, I don't know, some change, some pens, some napkins, just the everyday driving stuff. Uh, and they fold back together. They don't open one at a time. They kind of open together. So that might be an issue of someone's elbows over here, but you could always just rest it back down. And speaking of armrests in this car, let's talk about this armrest over here. It is actually heated. So whenever you're driving and you've got your arm rested and you're trying to drive, maybe in the winter, uh, your arm will be heated and kept warm because this side armrest is heated. How insane is that? The steering wheel is power tilting and telescoping, which is awesome. Uh, really, really nice feeling button here. Doesn't feel chintzy or cheap at all. Uh, goes anywhere you want it to go. Also down here, all of your light options and all your headlight options and fog lights are all right here. Uh, there's no button on the stock or any kind of dial to turn. They're all right there. And beneath that, a nice little storage compartment uh, to fit, I don't know, a cell phone, some extra cash, stuff you don't want folks to find uh, in your car right there. This handle feels glorious. So many little handles these days are chintzy and cheap and feel like it was such a piece of crap. Uh, this really feels nice. It almost feels like aluminum and I'm pretty sure it is, uh, but it feels great to the touch and just beautiful lighting throughout. Look at this, that nice classic BMW orange, that nice blue strips all over the place, kind of running the length of the dash there uh, and even over there on the door. It's just really, really nice attention to detail. My only complaint with this center uh, gear selector here is that it's a little tough to figure out how to get it into drive or reverse or park at first. Uh, it's not just like, hey, put it back. You've got to actually hit this little side button here uh, that says unlock, which it says that whenever you look at it close enough, but for someone who's just getting into here, it's a little tough to like know, oh, I've got to push this side button and pull it back before it'll go into driving mode. This just doesn't seem as intuitive as it should be for the clientele that I know uh, are the ones who can afford this level of SUV. But while we're down here, I want to compliment BMW on these beautiful buttons. They feel rich and nice to the touch. They kind of vibrate whenever you push one. Uh, they don't go down the whole way. They're not fully depressible, but they feel really nice to the touch. You've got your different camera angles here. You've got your parking sensors, that battery button we showed you before. Uh, but also over here, you've got your suspension. You can kind of change how high or how low the car is to load something, to go over a large bump, over a curb for whatever reason. Uh, but the car cannot be driven in the high or the low end range. It's got to be in this middle section and it'll let you know that it can't be driven if you've got it at the wrong height. 
On the backs of both front seats, there's a USB port and a mounting bracket for technology add-ons. Also in the back, the rear climate controls finished in beautiful brushed aluminum, complete with heated seats. Back up front, push the camera button next to the gear shifter and it will pop up the car's suite of cameras and give you a rear and aerial vantage point. So behind the wheel of this thing, uh, you notice right away just again how absolutely quiet it is because of that electric motor. Uh, it starts off in most modes in electric mode, which means there's no noise. It just sounds like you're driving a golf cart or something, but obviously a very nice golf cart at that. Uh, but let's also talk about the steering. The steering is precise, tight, and smooth all at the same time. It's almost like it's kind of greased up and really, really buttery. It's super smooth. Uh, it doesn't fight you at all. It goes exactly where you want to go. Like one touch of a finger can get this thing to kind of go uh, to the left or to the right. It's actually really, really awesome. And there's also some really fun features to it as you're driving. One is called the Intelligent Assistant. It's a BMW program that you can talk to your car, talk to your X5. Let's give it a try. Hey, BMW. Hello. What can I help you with? I'm tired. No problem. I have activated the Vitality program. The Vitality program that essentially uh, opens up the sunroof, turns on rock music, and pumps, blasts the air. It's amazing. It kind of is a setting that's pre-done in the car to keep you awake if you're tired. You can say any number of things. Turn on driver heated seat. I'm setting the seat heating on the driver's seat at level three. It's really kind of cool. Uh, it kind of gives you the hands-free option to drive your BMW uh, as you should safely, but also still have access to all the host of amenities and uh, capabilities of the interior. And as I said before, this car weighs more than 5,000 pounds, but it really is effortless out on the open road. I mean, I'm just kind of doing some residential small neighborhood driving right now, uh, but it really takes everything uh, very easily, very smoothly over bumps and imperfections, soaks them right up. Oh, it's so cool just starting off and you don't hear anything. It's just kind of a, it sounds like a small plane maybe taking off. It's really, really cool. Another really cool option though is down here, uh, the parking sensor button. That essentially, push that, and you can look around the car in any fashion, 360, and it kind of gives you a view of the doors, of the roof, of everything, but what's really cool is that you can actually see how far the doors will open depending on where you are basically giving you a right up close view of will I hit something if I open up my door right now? Am I too close to an object on either side of me? Another really cool option in this BMW is what's called backup assistant. Essentially, if you pull into a space, it's kind of tight, the car will have memorized the last 120, 160 feet that you took into that space. And then if you push this button, the car will back out of that space on its own, under its own memory. It memorizes where you took, what path you took on the way in, and it'll back up on its own to get you out of the space without any issues. It's really kind of cool. You can also tell too that BMW put some thought into the sound dampening of this car. It's incredibly quiet and leaves you kind of removed from the outside world, whether you're on a loud highway or you're trying to pass someone on a ramp or something. Uh, despite all of the glass too, there's a ton of glass, which means usually it's going to be a little bit louder because there's less uh, sound material to keep things absorbed, but not the case in this car. Very quiet, very, very smooth. Let's do this right now. Since we are out on the highway and we are in sport mode, let's see what it sounds like. It is a fast freaking car. And actually, it's kind of tough to hear the engine because again, the sound dampening is so well done in this car. Uh, the engine is kind of removed from the cabin as well, but it sounds incredible. It's almost instant. As soon as you push down the pedal, the electric mode kind of maybe takes over for a second. And then as soon as it realizes uh, maybe we need more power, uh, you can kind of tell the gasoline engine kicks in as well. Um, but it's actually really seamless. It's not some big thunk or some big or lurching or anything. You can sort of really tell minutely that it's changing over or switching over. You've really got to be paying attention. I don't think the average driver will ever know that it actually is switching over. Uh, but if you pay attention and you're listening and feeling for it, um, you may hear it.
But this BMW X5 still has at its heart a sporty interior, a sportier soul, the ultimate driving machine, right? That's what they call themselves. Um, but back in 99, whenever this was brought out, there weren't really any sporty luxury SUVs. They were just kind of SUVs that maybe were nicer but didn't have the performance. Uh, BMW X5 kind of changed the game. I mean, it was years until we saw a Porsche Cayenne or even a Range Rover Sport or the HSE in the mid 2000s. And I'm trying to think as I drive this thing around if there's anything I can criticize or complain about and I don't think I can. I think BMW has done a brilliant job with this interior with the driving capabilities of this thing and just how quiet and uh, assured it feels out on the road. I guess if I had to pick one it would be that there's so many different options and customizations in the infotainment uh, iDrive 7 uh, setup maybe that's overwhelming for some people there's so many buttons to take advantage of uh, but that's like a fake critique I can't even think of an actual one but once again before we go a massive shout out to Apple BMW in York Pennsylvania they let us have this brand new 2021 73 thousand dollar x5 for a few hours uh, really really appreciate their support and letting us take this out for a ride but I appreciate you guys watching please hit this video with a like a thumbs up for us and subscribe to the channel if you aren't already and hit that bell notification so you get notified Whenever we upload a new video, we try to put up stuff every week for you right here. Uh, let us know in the comments below what kind of reviews you want to see, what questions you might have about this card that maybe we didn't answer. Thank you guys for watching. Again, hit that like button, subscribe to us, stay with us as we continue to grow, and we will see you next time.